freezing, dude. And let's get you open. You wanna go outside, dude? Come on then. You having a little tinkle, dude? Good girl. Do you ever just wake up and you're like, my gosh, I've got so much I want to get done today. How am I gonna get it all done? Every bloody day. And today, I started doing some things to solve it. That's kind of why I'm freezing. Just look at the state of this dog. You're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> you donut. This is why she wanted to stay outside. <laughs> I need a bag. <laughs> Yummy, tasty snack in the morning. All right, stop faffing, Oliver. Let's get back to it. Or let's get to it. <laughs> Bear with me, one second. Gone too high. Okay, all right, that, that will do. Step one complete, windows are open. We're getting warmer in here. The, the table lifting up, that was to um, get moving a bit. But I have so much on my mind, I've thrown it all into Notion. There we are, see, so you have your ideas. The green number is the week of the year, so this is a sprint. So it's working in this sprint. The blue number, or oh, they're not blue all the way down, are they? But the smaller number is an idea of the level of effort involved in each of these tasks. Now the majority of these are pretty low. So easy task to complete. But that gives me another problem because it's like, which one, which one do I start with? So that's where I have, that's, that's where I have this system. Come and use it. So for each day we have three top priority tasks that need to be completed. Priority one, two, three. Ants are bloody boring. Don't get an ant farm. Waste of time. So let's grab a red, green, und einen bleu, and the pen. So Oliver, you've been dragging on this ring thing for too long. If you're newish to here, what's going on with this ring? I've got a smart ring, a $20 smart ring that I bought from Timu, and I hate that it has a metal band on it. So my goal is to make a silicone band to sync the chipset from this into. Now, we've got the band that works really well. I created a 3D mold, we printed it yesterday. Fantastic. So now I need to clean and print ring mold. Priority number one. Priority number two, edit healthy feet. Well, or you could just edit healthy fat. Numero trois is to healthy feet foot bath. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Let's start cleaning off this ring. I'm not really sure how. Hmm. You know, instead of taking all this off because it's just too bloody hard, you know, I'll tell you what. I ordered a rotary tool the other day and the goal of that was to clean off the, the molds that I make and to clean off the plastic from this because it's like really tough plastic holding onto this. This is not the one I ordered. It's got a security tag and this is a floor model. Now I was just thinking I'll go and get a new one and then I'll start shaving this off to get it clean and down to just the chipset. But because the chipset's broken, I don't think I need that. I think I just need to make sure that the mold is wide enough or is wider than this charging port. And then I have to make sure that the charging port is on the innermost part so that it can charge. So I think I just need to make my mold bigger. All right, while that bad boy cooks up, I would like to make another edit of the first in the series of healthy feet for TikTok. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm predominantly a TikTok creator and I really like telling stories on TikTok. Now I've been, I've been in a little bit of a dilemma that is just me in my head. And it's a real problem that I'm trying to actively solve. I'm trying to like restructure my brain, but I've only just started that. So as I get going on a bit, I'll explain a bit more about it. But for now, I'll tell you where I've been. Hmm, I've got it. So this is a real pencil. This is the Pencil Pro. And then this is just a fake pencil. So you've got real or authentic versus fake and curated. I'll put, I'll put those there. That's not very easy to see, is it? Damn it, come on, Oliver. Real, authentic, fake, curated. When you're trying to grow on social media, 
the real and authentic is a much slower way to grow. It's a much slower way to get followers, brand deals, money, views, anything else. The fake, the, or the curated is a much easier way. You're creating something for people to enjoy, a way that they enjoy it. But what you struggle with, in the, and, and with that comes views, comes money, comes a few other things. But what you don't get is the connection with the person watching. Now, this is a problem you see on short form content all over the place because the same way that you scroll social media is the same way that I do. When it's on TikTok, you watch a video, scroll. Like, you don't really feel anything. You don't care about it. You don't remember the person you just watched. Whereas a YouTube video, you actively click on it. You actively engage with the person that you're talking to, you're watching, you're listening to. And I've been trying to bring that over onto TikTok. I want to create content where people are watching it for me. That sounds just like crazy about me, doesn't it? But you want people, I'm trying to build that connection that it doesn't matter what Oliver's doing, I want to watch what Oliver's doing because of the way he experiences it and the way he does it. Now that goes way deeper. That goes into the roots of the type of being, the type of person I am. Do people want to be surrounded by someone like me? Now, I posted a video yesterday that was real, was authentic, and it's, it's, it's doing okay. It's not a complete flop. It's about 7,000 views on TikTok, bearing in mind I have nearly 600,000 followers. So by that, it's not doing very well. But I also have a formula to make videos that can go semi-viral to viral, you know, within 10 million views. And I had this thought last night, right? Because I've been so in my head, flipping 3D printers going crazy. Noise cancellation. I've been so in my head about doing things the way other people expect. Have another swig of this sour Powerade. Nasty. That I'm not making videos just the way I want to make videos. But what's really stopping me from making, having the same experience and making it different ways? So here's the thought I had. I, this is amazing to me. So I live the real experience in this vlog and my TikToks are like a game of messing with my own stories for alternate experiences. So if we take the video I did yesterday about uh, shaving my feet, simple three act structure. So you have the problem, which leads into the journey and the journey is sparked as a result of this. And then you have the resolution. Right, so very simple. In this video, I've got dry feet. The journey is to shave and the resolution is, I don't know, less dry, Feet. Now this story can be way more exciting if you have many more ups and downs. So if, put the bloody lids on wrong, the story now is very different and there's way more going on with some clever things in here I think. So instead of the story going from I have dry feet so I'm going to shave my feet and now I have less dry feet, we go from my feet are so dry that I'm ashamed to go get a pedicure so I shave them myself which is kind of like that's the hook of the video let me go through this and then I'll break it down sorry I then test my hydration it's a thing that you put on your foot test the hydration level of your foot I say that I have two types of shavers for my feet and so I start using the first one which is a cheese grater type of shaving that's where the viewer now knows oh he's really gonna do what he's told us he's gonna do in the hook but the problem to getting going in this video is that my feet are so bad the cheese grater thing gets clogged up. And so I'm left with like, well, what the hell do I do now? So then I start getting the electric shaver, which is bloody impossible to open. I then start shaving with it. And I find that I get powder everywhere from the shavings from my feet. I then realize that my toes, in between my toes are really bad. So I have to do that. That's when I realized that actually I might be going too deep because I'm not a pro. I don't have any experience in doing this. Then I have this banana in here, this kind of like, I get to this crisis point of like, Oh my gosh, I'm going too deep. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Okay, well, he's obviously then going to stop or he's just going to keep going. But what if you can tweak that? So instead, I've got my son that comes in and helps me. So I actually, my son comes in and helps. And then the finale is that I test the hydration. I put on the foot cream and I set up for the next video. Now, here's why I think this is so, I really do, truly, I really do feel like this is clever and well thought out because here are a few things. In the hook, you explain that, or I explain that I have dry feet. I also provide the emotion. I'm ashamed that I'm not gonna go for a pedicure because most people would be like, 
do. Just go get a pedicure. Also, I'm going to throw in manicure instead of pedicure, you know, intentionally getting it wrong. And then we're going to tell people what I'm going to do to try and solve this problem that I have. Problem, reason why I can't solve it the normal way, how I plan on solving it. The testing the hydration is another hook in the video that tells the viewer, oh, he's testing now and he's going to test at the end. Well, I have a metric and a, a real point that I can see how it changes from the beginning to the end of the video. There's the payoff that they're expecting. They know there's going to be a payoff, not just that they're going to see someone's feet get shaved, but they're going to get a real number to show the result of this work. I then originally had in here that I would say I bought two types of shaver, but I don't think I should. I think I'm going to keep that out because then when I use the cheese, the cheese grater and I see that it gets clogged up, the users then or the viewers then thinking, well, what's he going to do next? That's the only thing he's got. Is he going to have to go and get a manicure, a pedicure? No. I also bought the electric shaver. And they're like, what the hell? I didn't even know that thing existed. So then I go through these few different things. I'm just trying things. What's the result? How does that impact the next thing I do? So it's like, try this. What happens? Okay, that sparks me to do what next, etc. Until I get to this crisis point. So I stop doing between my toes and I realize that I'm going too deep. I'm not a pro. By saying that I'm not a pro, like I don't have experience, I'm pushing back into this narrative that I should have gone for a pedicure or could have gone for a pedicure. And also bringing this up so that when my son comes to help me, it's kind of like I'm getting a pedicure. Like he's the one that's doing it for me. Now the really interesting, I'll carry on. Nope, I will say this. The really interesting bit about this is that actually my son came in and helped me, I think before I even got to my toes, like right after I started opening the shaver, but I can keep that and slot it in as the banana. And then to finish off with, you do the hydration test, give the viewer exactly what they wanted there. I, I use the foot cream. So not only is that setting up for the next video, I talk about the partnership. I make the partnership with O'Keefe's more authentic and people know that that's coming. Also that I have a second solution because this didn't solve my actual problem. And then I set up what's going to happen in the next video, which gives a, a person, a viewer, a reason to either follow or to want to be involved or to go looking for the next video. You see how this is the authentic story, the real story. But by playing with what really happened and reorganizing, re or just shifting around the things that happen, you can make a much more interesting story, I think. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it is almost done. It's done now. Shoot, I did it wrong again. Oliver, focus. I hit this realization that even after the 20 million plus views per month, I didn't really feel like I'd made any connection with the viewers. And so I started going down this route of just doing the authentic version, the live version, showing a bit more of who I am. But I really like this whole story writing process. And so I want my cake and eat it and to eat it. I want to be able to do the experience in real life and just enjoy it for what it is. I also want to be able to curate this cool story that happens out of this. And so I have to create that story post versus planning it all out before I go and do the video. Cause then I'm just reading from a do this next and then do that and then try this and then do that. So now I'm going to edit this video. So what I'll do is normally I'd write out a full script. So I'm really just reading the script and then layering the footage to match the script. But I might try freely hitting each of these points. Should we just try it? But first, let's pull this off. Oh, gosh. So I think what I should have done is printed the outer ring and the inner ring on separate pieces because I have all this gunk inside of here. I need like a rotary tool to come in and clean up the inside of here. Otherwise, like with this one, you see how it's all uneven? And then I've got holes in there. See, this shirt is no bueno. She's not weighing or okay. Okay, now I'm shutting the windows because it's too hot. My feet have gotten so dry and I'm ashamed to go get a manicure, so I'm just gonna shape them myself. I wanna try doing this as if I'm sending a Snapchat. I want to see just how I want to see just how bad they were, so I started with a hydration test and then got going with this cheese grater shaver that I bought. I want to see just how bad Okay, forget the camera. This is where I'm trying to think about just like talking to a friend. I'm, I'm in this mindset of doing it for a TikTok where I'm trying to be expressive. But how would I be telling a friend? But dude, I tested my hydration first. Terrible. And then I started using the cheese grater to try and get whatever. See, that seems, that seems so weird. Like I just got to tell the story. Like I'm telling someone what happened. 
No, dude, it was so bad. I started off with testing the hydration of my foot. I don't know. We'll see how that looks in an, in, in, in an edit. Oh, I did get the wall. Damn it. Healthy feet and foot bath are about to do you. Do you? Oh dear. So I just set up the shot to get the next video going, which was gonna be my feet in these packets. You add water and it's, I don't know, you meant to put your feet in it. And I've been ideating on what to do while my feet are in it for 10 minutes. But I spent too long on it and we have a friend coming over in a few minutes. What, a few minutes? 20 minutes, I have to go and get some barbecue food, so. You know what, I've just had an idea. I have a drill, so why don't I just go and get the rotary tool bits that fit into a drill, as opposed to buying a whole new rotary tool. Let's go to Home Depot, and then pick up the barbecue on the way back. Perfect timing. Prefold. Where are we going, Rugi? Well, oh, we are gonna get food after this, but what does that say? The Home Depot. Can you open the doors for me? Oh, shoot. Yeah, we, we've got to put this back. Your arm's tucked in. Oh no, stay there. Let's go find my receipt. 